information as I can. Now, the first thing I wanna ask you guys is how many of you actually downloaded the free ebook, My Birthday Giveaway? If you did not download our free ebook for My Birthday Giveaway, the link is gonna be in the bio. So you can go ahead and download that ebook. The ebook is um, how to start your foundation for your business, and it also includes 100 ways to market your small business. So I wanna make sure you guys are getting that value, so make sure you hit the link in my bio. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, the link to the free ebook is gonna be iamcarmenmohan.com slash birthday. Um, I also did a live that morning on my birthday on how to build a strong foundation for your business. And for those of you that didn't tune in on that, I'm gonna make sure that I post it on YouTube. So make sure you stay tuned. So what am I talking about today? Um, after I did the birthday giveaway, I reached out and I told everyone to send me their questions as far as what type of questions they had with embarking on their new business ventures or embarking on their entrepreneurship. One of the questions that I receive a lot is going to be due to business funding. So it made me think a little bit like, oh, that's, oh, that's a common question that people mostly ask, like how do I get money for my business? How do I raise money, raise capital for my next business adventure, for my entrepreneurship? And it got me to thinking like maybe the funding itself isn't the character or it or isn't the missing piece. I think maybe the funding itself is the mentality on how to organize your finances, right? If in your personal finances, you aren't organizing your finances correctly or keeping track with your bills or what's coming in or what's coming out, how can you embark on the next journey of your life of becoming an entrepreneur? Or how can you build the best business if your money management isn't good on your finances, on your personal side? How can you build a strong business like that? So what I want you guys to do is to separate yourself from who you are as a person and look outside looking in. Does this person manage their finances like a business owner? And the first question you probably have is, okay, well how does a business owner actually manage their finances? They do it with a different type of mentality. They do it with the mentality of this is a business. And they do it with more so of a cash flow perspective. They want to understand what's coming in and what's coming out. So in order for you guys to build a strong foundation for your business, before even trying to maximize your foundation to try to get business funding, why don't you try to organize what you have in your personal finances or in your life right now? There's going to be a lot of clutter that you're going to need to get through in order to be able to have the right mentality to build that strong business. I want you guys to have that mentality to build a strong business on all aspects, whether that's financing or running or operating or maintaining all those things that it took to make you a solid business. So I want to make sure that you guys are doing the best that you can possibly do. So let's talk about it. If you were someone that wanted to build a business or already have a business now and have problems managing your personal finances, what are some things that you can do to try to get yourself out of that hole? And I'm not talking about paying off every dollar in debt before you start building your business because that's unrealistic today. At, at the end of the day, a lot, many people have debt. So I'm not telling you to pay off every dollar of your debt, but what I do want you to understand is what your expenses are. How much money are you spending a month on your day to day? I want you to print every one of your bank statements, personal and business, and go through each one of your statements and cut the clutter. What are you spending excessive money on that you shouldn't be spending? Where can you be saving? Where can you be budgeting? And I don't expect you to go on that crazy type of budget where you cut everything out of your day to day spending either. I'm not giving you unrealistic goals. I'm giving you an outline for you to be able to build a strong foundation for yourself. So what are some ways that we can start to think as business owners and think of a cash flow perspective? And that first thing's gonna be is to go through everything and cut your expenses, cut your clutter. The unnecessary things that you spend on on a day to day is going to be the first step to, uh, to building your mindset as a business owner. Why? A business owner isn't gonna go out and buy something that's expensive. 
They're going to make sure that they have the money to meet payroll Friday or make sure that they have the money to pay their bills this month or make sure that their sales are covering payroll expenses, rent expenses, marketing expenses. They're going to make sure that other things that are important are getting paid off first versus what? Actually just spending money. They're going to think of it in the cash flow perspective. So the first thing that they're going to need to do is cut their expenses and see where they can save money and whatever extra money that they come in that comes in they're going to probably do what invest it into their platform invest in something that can help grow their sales right their overall sales so when we're talking about your cash flow perspective for your personal finances what are some other ways besides cut your expenses that you can increase your cash flow to start your entrepreneurship or to grow your entrepreneurship or to even just train your mind to think like an entrepreneur like a real business owner Another, another one of those things we're gonna do is to increase our income. We're living in the gig economy. There's many things you can do today, right now, to be able to increase your cash flow. You're gonna be, there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can Airbnb your place and go live with your mom for six months. You can go ahead and Uber a couple nights for the week. There's many, many things that you can do today in our gig economy. You can freelance, whatever your uh, creative objectives are, whatever your hobbies are, you can freelance in that field. There's many things that you can do today that's gonna be able to help you increase your income and to be able to organize your finances. Once you start clearing out all that clutter, you're gonna see more money coming into your accounts every month. And you're gonna be able to leverage your platform to be able to make more money for it further. Business owners sacrifice for the good of their business. Business owners don't go out and spend a million dollars on unnecessary things. Business owners have expenses to meet every month and have sales to meet every month. So as a business owner, are you thinking about your prospective clients that you're bringing in? Are you thinking about what your gross sales are? Are you thinking about what your expenses are this month? Are you sacrificing the, 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 the small things for the bigger picture? I need you to do that. What's another way that we can increase our cash flow? Does anyone listening have a, um, an answer? So how many of us are familiar with the tax reform law and the new changes? For those of you that don't know, Trump's tax reform law came into effect this year in 2018. So when he passed this law and now everything's into effect, people don't even know everyone's taxes, everyone's check is being taxed incorrectly today. If you learn the tax game and you learn that, a, or you know that every year you get a tax refund, what does that mean? Does it mean the government's nice enough just to give you money every month, uh, every year? No, that means that you overpaid in taxes. That means that the government paid you, deducted some taxes, however, due to their law or due to their calculations, you over without, you, you, you were charged more taxes than you were supposed to pay, and now they're refunding you the money back. So if you learn the tax game, you can possibly do what? You can possibly increase your cash flow if you learn the tax game. How many of us fill out a W-4 when they go to work for our employee? How many of us have a W-2 job? When you have a W-2 job, every year your employer gives you a W-4 withholding calculator. I'm sorry, withholding form for you to fill out. Once you fill out that form, you're telling your employee how much to tax you. So most of us fill out one or zero if we're by ourselves. If we have kids or a kid, we may do two or three. So we know that. Now, what if I knew I had a refund coming and every year I get $3,000 because maybe I have a kid or two, uh, maybe I have two kids. And every year I get $3,000. If I upped the allowances on my W-4, what's gonna happen then? Instead of getting that $3,000 in January, I'm gonna get a higher check amount every week. That higher check amount is gonna be able to increase your cash flow, right? If you have a W-2 job. Now, this is a good strategy for those of you that have W-2 jobs, that have salary jobs. Another strategy you could even put on top of that is start your business and any expenses that you have or incur within your business can be write-offs. 
So if you increase your cash flow from your paycheck, which you have to be careful because if you, you have to be careful because if you underpay the end of the year, you're gonna owe taxes. If you know that you get a refund every month, every year, if you know that you get a refund every year, and you know how much you make a month, you can adjust that W-4 to be able to what? Help you get a little bit more money. Now, an extra $500 for the month may be able to help you do what? Build the foundation for your business, market your business, understand how to, or hire a coach to be able to help you gain some revenue for your business, learn a trade. There's a lot of things you can do with smaller amounts of money if you take the time to invest within yourself. So, let's go back. What I tell you guys to do, how, what's, a, what's a way we can increase our cash flow? A way we can increase our cash flow is to figure out how much the IRS is withholding from us. For those of you that do not know, you can go online and view this information. You can go on irs.com slash withholding, and there's a calculator on there. You can take a stub from your last paycheck and input it into the calculator, and the calculator will tell you what? How much you're actually being taxed per week, and it will also tell you if you're being taxed correctly, because now with this new tax law, everything's changing. However, if you are already being over, if you are already getting a refund every year, then we know you're probably going to get a refund this year, right? So if we know we're getting a refund and we know that we file our taxes in January for the prior year. And we know that this year right now is August. If we update our W-2, right? For September, October, November, and December, that's four months of extra cash flow to be able to help us set up our foundation for next year, right? So if you think about it in that perspective, then you'll be able to start increasing your cash flow and investing it like a business owner and managing your money like a business owner. If you can't manage your personal finances responsibly or correctly, what are your odds of running a business or maintaining a business's finances correctly? I need you to think of the mentality as a business owner so you can get to the next level in your life. And I'll be, of course, coming in to check up on you guys and drop some information on you guys, but I can't be breathing down your neck every day to make sure you guys do the right thing. I wanna make sure you guys have the tools to do the right thing, but I also wanna make sure that you're doing it. Increase your cash flow to be able to invest within your business. Increase your cash flow to be able to say, lay the bricks of the foundation. When I'm talking about managing your personal finances, I'm not talking about paying off every dollar of your student loan debt. Your student loan debt is not going to change or help your business endeavors. I'm not talking about paying every dollar down of your credit. You can, be, you can pick another strategy for that and start a company and learn to build the credit within that business and transfer the debt from your personal to under your business and that increases your score and now you have a better score and you're, and you're good over here working on your personal finances while you're slowly paying off your debt on your business side that's not really affecting you. That's a whole nother strategy. So my question to you is, how correctly are you managing your personal finances? How are you increasing your cash flow? When was the last time you took out a spreadsheet and wrote down what your expenses were monthly, what your bills were monthly, and how much do you need to make monthly to even cover your bills? During the tax season, a lot of my clients complain about a lot of places they wish they were that they couldn't be because New York is too expensive. I'll ask them, when was the last time that you sat down and went through your finances? They can't even remember. So I want you guys to be a little bit more educated and I want you guys to be able to do what's necessary for you guys to be successful. Start with building your foundation. Start with your mind. I'm going to think like a business owner. I'm going to review what's coming in. I'm going to review what's going out. I'm going to cut the excess and I'm going to reinvest and build my platform. So it's really simple. If you guys have any questions about this, I'm gonna leave this up for 24 hours. I am going to also export the video and post it on YouTube. If you have any questions or want me to do a live on a specific topic in regards to entrepreneurship, uh, your finances, business funding, we can hit all topics, 
but this one kind of just resonated with me because after the birthday giveaway a lot of people ask me about business funding and I have no problem helping them with business funding but I think that it's just a little bit more of a deeper problem than actually the, finding the capital for their business I think the problem is the way that they're actually managing their finances or viewing their finances I want them I want you guys to get good money principles so that when you do build your really successful companies you're able to Build strong companies and manage your business's finances in the same way. So for anyone else that has any questions, feel free to jump in my DMs. I reply to DMs or email us. And make sure you click the link in my bio to download our free ebook for my birthday. All right, guys. Good night.